So, what's for dinner tonight? How about teriyaki salmon? Not grilled, not fried, not even baked, but uh, slow cooked, which I'm going to be doing. So, watch me now. Okay, I'm using a one and a half uh, quart slow cooker. First thing I'm going to start with is add two cups of water. A half cup of this uh, teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki and marinade sauce. And about one tablespoon of uh, French red hot sauce. And mix it up well. Okay, and then the next thing we'll uh, add in the salmon. And the, the salmon is a, uh, here's the brand I'm using, it's a, a premium Atlantic salmon. Which I recommend. It's a higher price, but it's, it's what I recommend because of the better texture and flavor of it. Well worth the extra price. So we'll add that in. And we're going to set the heat to uh, a high temperature since I'm cooking for about six hours. I start around noontime, but if you're starting in the early morning, you can start at, start at a low temperature and you'll have plenty of cooking time. So now, since I'm starting at noon time, we'll start on, on high heat. And then at that time, it'd be time to stir fry the vegetables, which I'll be doing next. So now the cooking time has passed, we're now going to switch it to the warm setting, and shortly I will start to stir fry these vegetables, which I'll be, uh, which is a mix of uh, portobello mushrooms, tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. That'll be the next step. Okay, time for the veggies to be stir fried. Got the burner set on a medium heat at first, and later on I'll be reducing it to a lower temperature. And I'll be adding in these uh, ingredients, some uh, Papayan red wine vinegar. A little bit of a tank of red hot sauce for a hint of hot flavor. And then some uh, stirring paste garlic, which uh, is very convenient to use. It saves you the trouble of having to cut, peel, and press uh, garlic cloves. And I also like to add in a dash of horseradish. So, not too much of that. And we'll be stirring that in. And of course reduce the heat to a uh, just above low level. And let it cook for probably about 20 minutes. The next step will be serving time. Okay, veggies are now done. Now it's serving time. Next we'll place the salmon on top of that. Okay, now with the uh, slow cooker turned off, time to take out the salmon. Put it on the bed of vegetables. Look at that, how brown it is. Next we'll take a taste of it. Yeah, kind of brown on the outside, a little lighter brown on the inside. Let's taste it. It's very, very, oh yeah, very, very good. It's very good. Okay, here is another <clears throat> cooking method I use for uh, grilling, for cooking salmon. It's a uh, flavor wave turbo infrared oven, which I will grill salmon in it. And it's also a uh, seen on TV uh, <clears throat> gadget, which was uh, uh, demonstrated by co-host uh, and TV star Mr. T. So, so I'll look for that video later and. Uh, you want to subscribe so you can see you later. So, thanks for watching.